So hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic edit at the beginning of this video. It took quite a bit of time to film that, but here we are on a different day. And I kind of just want to give you a walk around of this particular BMW because it is pretty cool. And it's the first time BMW has had a soft top convertible in the 4 Series for quite some time. So the car in front of us is a 2021 BMW M440i convertible. Now, if you know anything about BMWs of the past, especially the convertibles in the 4 Series, then you would know that they were hard top convertibles. And I did a bit, little bit of reading before creating this video, and I found out that BMW hasn't had a ragtop, soft top convertible in like over 15 years or something like that. So it's very interesting to see that BMW went back to that, likely for some weight savings and maybe complexity reasons. Uh, but this is the first time I've actually been hands-on with this generation BMW, so that's why I'm kind of excited to show you guys today. And when you compare this car to the last generation, which I believe was the F series or the F generation of the BMWs, I think this is a huge upgrade. They made many improvements over that generation, both in aesthetics, cosmetics, you know, the interior, the technologies, all that kind of stuff. I think this car really shows that it is the next generation. And what's cool with this car is it actually comes with the original window sticker, so I know exactly what the options and original MSRP were. But starting out, this is the Arctic race blue metallic for 550 it has the driver assistance pro package for 1700 it has the parking assistance package for 700 premium package for 2500 it is missing the front passenger lumbar support so that's a 175 dollars subtraction it has the 19 inch wheels with all season run flat tires for 600 and finally it includes the neck warmers for 500 and it has deleted the front passenger width adjustment, but it's missing that and that's a $100 subtraction. But that's the option packages that this car is equipped with, just so you guys know before we take a walk around look. But anyway, starting out at the front of this generation BMW, this was the first model year or the first generation rather to feature the largened kidney grills. And to be honest, it's not as polarizing as I thought it would be looking at the pictures online and everything like that. Maybe it's the bronze accents on the M440 uh, trim in particular, but overall it really doesn't look that bad. This BMW obviously has full LED headlights. As you can see, it says full BMW. But as you can see, it says BMW LED and the silver trim underneath the lens there. They are projectors and they are adaptive, so it will you know, auto level and they will turn with the steering wheel, everything like that. Overall, it's a pretty aggressive looking front end, but I do think these color combos really match very well. Front camera for that 360 degree infotainment view, but there you can see the enlarging grills and overall, like I said, it's not as bad as some of the pictures online show it to be. These are 19 inch wheels with the all season run flat tires. This car has the blue M Sport calipers. More of the bronze accents found on the mirrors with your LED turn signals and the surround view camera system like I mentioned. Black cloth soft top, auto dimming rear view mirrors with blind spot detection. Proximity keyless access obviously. Has all the approach lighting and everything like that that you can customize on the infotainment system. More of your parking assistance sensors here on the back bumper. This is a unique bumper to this vehicle, but you can see it has dual outlet exhaust with that little diffuser in the center with some gloss black accents. This is a very attractive looking BMW the more I look at it. And uh, overall, I don't know how anybody could complain about this car, to be honest. I mean, the grill is a little bit large, maybe. Other than that, I think it looks very good. So stepping on inside this BMW, it is very luxurious. You'll find a lot of creature comforts inside. Starting out on the door panel, you have full soft touch door panel for the most part with blue accent stitching. Two person memory driver's seat, power windows, mirrors, and locks. Trunk release with some bottle storage down below. Power folding mirrors. That is a nice feature, but again, kind of expected on this uh, level of vehicle. Your power seat for the driver's side has a ton of adjustments, including four way power lumbar and your bolster adjustments, so it'll kind of squeeze you, hug you in a little bit firmer. That is missing on the passenger seat, according to the window sticker. Has a manual adjustable leg extension right there. And of course, you can see all the blue accent stitching, which goes really well with most colors of the BMW paints. To the left of the steering wheel, you have some of your exterior lighting controls, including some of your headlight um, automatic functions. Like I said, I think these do auto leveling, they do cornering abilities. Um, a lot of that stuff's found over here, including some sort of parking lights. 
You can see a little bit of ambient lighting poking out right there. It is found throughout the interior. But stepping inside, you're immediately greeted with the fully digital gauge cluster M440 logo up top. And it looks like a little bit sensor to monitor your eyes while using the active driving assist. So that's pretty neat. Steering wheel is leather wrapped, paddle shifters on the back. All of your active driving assist buttons, including adaptive cruise control, uh, your lane centering assist, all that here on the left side. Heated steering wheel button in the middle with your little M badge. On the right side, you have your audio and infotainment system controls. Auto high beam assist with your uh, headlight stuff over here. Rain sensing wipers on the right side. There's your all new infotainment system for this generation BMW. I think this is one of the best ones uh, that I've ever dealt with as far as BMW goes. There's a ton of user customization ability. It is a touch screen, as well as you can control it here with the controller on the center console. You can set up driver profiles. You can change all the suspension steering, uh, mode buttons. You can select lighting options, just a bunch of stuff. This head unit does feature wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So it has some of the latest technology in, in terms of connectivity. Uh, but overall, I really do enjoy using it and it seems fairly intuitive thus far. Below that, you have your dual zone automatic climate control. This does have tri-zone automatic climate control as there is a zone for rear seat passengers. Heated front seats. You have some of your hard touch buttons for the radio, including a volume knob. Really appreciate BMW for keeping that. Has a lid for the console. So you can close off the cup holders and the wireless charging pad. Wireless charging pads found there behind the cup holders. USB-A, 12 volt outlet, two fairly large cup holders with your proximity key for the BMW. The shifter is really neat in this vehicle because it's kind of like a hazy glass type, you know, see-through version. But basically to use it, you put your foot on the brake, pull the button on the side and basically go down, up, and park is the button on the back side, so very easy to use overall. You have your parking assistance function, traction control, as well as your camera view functions. So you can cycle through the different camera views there. You can see both the front doors are open so the cameras aren't reading, but a very intuitive system. And again, lots of camera views you can cycle through. All of your mode buttons are down here, including your Sport, Sport Plus, Comfort, Eco Pro, and I think there is a custom mode as well iDrive controls with some hard touch buttons for the infotainment system so you can navigate easily through all the different menus. Your electronic parking brake, auto hold, your neck warmer button, so you have three stage neck warmers for warm air on your neck on those chilly days, and your top operation is right there. Center console is nicely padded with some more blue stitching, USB-C port inside with a little light, and considering the size of this vehicle, I think the console is very good. Black headliner with some LED lighting, auto dimming rear view mirror, LED interior lighting with some emergency SOS button, and the headliner for the convertible top actually looks very nice. It's very thick. It's not too hard or scratchy or anything like that, and I think it feels very nice. But taking a look at the back seat, the handle to get in, you basically pull the back forward. The seat will automatically start moving up so you can gain easier access to the rear seat. Stepping inside, it's not the easiest thing, but it's not the worst thing in the world. You have mat pockets on both of the front seats. AC vents, there's your automatic zone climate control for rear seat passengers, including two USB-C charging ports. Four passenger seating, obviously, two cup holders in the middle. You have a pass-through right here. Not much of an armrest, but you do have some speakers and a tiny bit of storage for maybe a phone or something like that. But overall, it's really not too bad here in the back seat. You have soft touch stitching up here. So coming back to the trunk, basically automatic pop, it's kind of spring loaded. And you're not gonna expect a lot of trunk space here in the back seat, but there is a decent amount. With the top up, you can push this up. So the top operation will stop at that point when that's not retracted. And you do have quite a bit of space. You can see a little pass through to the rear seats. A little 12 volt outlet back here. Overall, it's really not too bad for this size vehicle and convertible aspects. Passenger front seat is obviously gonna have most of the same adjustments as the driver. You don't have the bolster or lumbar adjustment, but you do have full power with the leg extension. Glove box is nicely damped. I don't see any lighting, ambient lighting running across the dash. Yeah, overall, a very nice interior. 
something that I would be very happy daily driving or driving around in nice weather for that matter. So under the hood of the M440i, you'll find the B58 inline six cylinder twin power turbo engine. This makes, according to BMW, now this engine is severely underrated from the factory. It makes 382 horsepower and about 360 some pound feet of torque through either the rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, depending if you get X drive. This particular one is rear wheel drive only. So because this is a convertible, it wouldn't be complete without putting the top down, right? Well, just simply hold that button I pointed to earlier and the top goes down in about 18 seconds, which is fairly quick. I think you can put it down up to 31 miles an hour if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, overall, it's a very easy and quick folding top. So hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little video on this BMW M440i. And if you did, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out these videos and the channel. If you wanna see more content on this BMW, let me know and I'll do my best to make it. Overall, I think it is a very neat car and uh, definitely has a higher price tag, but I think you do get a lot of performance and overall capability with the convertible top and everything for that money. So I think it's a good deal. It's just, you know, it's hard to swallow that 70 plus thousand dollar price tag. If you guys are new to the channel and not subscribed, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and check out some of their content available. I have a bunch of other automotive content. So make sure to check that out if you guys enjoyed what you saw. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one.